Hey everybody, welcome to Ready, Set, Drone. Today I have the E Sheen Turbine QX Micro FPV Racing Drone. Now this thing is uh, similar to the Tiny Whoop, which is uh, very popular, and we're gonna check it out, review it, and see how it does today, so stay tuned. This thing is similar to the Tiny Whoop in that it is a uh, ducted structure. Um, it, a couple things I really like about it right off the bat, it has some very bright LEDs on the back, which is pretty cool. Um, it does, it is compatible with Clean Flight, which is also very cool. And it uses these, um, this kind of battery. Let me pull the battery out. This is a little 1S, um, battery with a standard connector. This is the same thing that the SEMA X5C uses and several other of my drones. So I have a ton of these batteries, which is actually pretty cool because that means I can fly a lot with this thing without having to wait to recharge since I have so many of these batteries. And these batteries are fairly inexpensive. So a um, couple of cool things about it. Now you can get this in several different uh, configurations as far as what radio it will use. You can use FR Sky, Fly Sky, or DSMX. So DSMX is spectrum radios. Um, in my case, this is a FR Sky version. So this comes with a FR Sky radio in it. And you can see right here on the top of the box, it actually says um, right down there, it has a little checkbox as to which, uh, which one it um, came with, which is cool. I've, I'm not a big fan of having to install my own uh, receiver. So it's nice that they send it with the receiver already built in. Um, it does have 5.8 gigahertz uh, video transmitter, which means that it will transmit to fat sharks or um, other goggles. Already has the camera built in. Um, it comes with spare props, of course, which is a good thing. Although with these ducts, you really shouldn't need them. And it does come with, um, it does come with a decent instruction book that tells you kind of some of the basics on how to bind it and also how to configure it in clean flight. And finally, it comes with, this is the cable that allows you to plug it in and uh, use clean flight with it, which is what I'm gonna do right now. I wanna show you the basic clean flight configuration. So, um, well, to start with, you need to set up a profile in your radio, whether it's the uh, FR Sky Tyrannus or a Spectrum radio or, or whatever you're gonna use. Set up a new profile. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there are lots of videos on how to do that but um, it basically allows you to customize your uh, configuration of your radio for this particular quad. So I've set one up already, and then you need to bind it. And again, there's instructions on how to bind it in the book here for the different uh, types of receivers. But basically with an FR Sky radio, you put the radio into bind mode, and then there is a tiny little button, which is um, over on this side, uh, there's a tiny little button right in there that you hold down while you plug the battery in. When you plug the battery in while holding that bind button down, it goes into bind mode. And if your uh, transmitter is in bind mode, they will talk to each other and they will bind. Pretty easy process. I actually had to take these two little screws out right here and remove this cover briefly in order to hold that button down. And then I put them back in. So you may have to do that to actually bind it, but it's not a big deal. And once it's bound to your radio, your transmitter, and you have a, a profile set up for it, you shouldn't ever have to bind it again, as long as you're using the same transmitter. So let's uh, open it up in clean flight, and I'll show you some of the configuration that I did, really basic stuff. So if you are unfamiliar with clean flight, it is a free application you can download. There's also beta flight, um, and it is actually a Chrome extension. So if you, you have to download the uh, Chrome browser, and that's what it looks like right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, I'm going to take the uh, little plug here, and there is only one place it will plug in, and there's only one way it will go, and that that place is right here on the bottom. You want to make sure that you uh, don't bend the pins or anything like that. So you want to check, take a look at it, make sure you've got your pins in the right spot. And then it's a little bit of a trick to get it in there. Okay, I've got it in there. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in the quad into my USB port with clean flight. And then I'm gonna go up here and hit connect. And you can see it there. 
and it's pretty good right now. The first thing I'm going to do is just calibrate accelerometer, which means that it's going to uh, set the level for it to make sure that all the accelerometers know what level should look like. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and um, plug in the power. To, well, you know what? I want, I'm see, I'm going to see if this will work without plugging in the battery. I'm going to turn on my radio. Welcome to Open TX. And if you look right there at my um, down here at my screen on my radio, you can see that's my uh, that's my profile that I built for this particular quad. It's the Esheen. I just called it the Esheen Tiny. You can name it whatever you want, but that was a good name for me. So I'm going to go over here to um, receiver, and you can see here on the on the uh, clean flight. When I push the throttle up, the throttle goes up and down. When I push the yaw, the yaw goes left and right, pitch and roll, same thing. Now, one important thing in clean flight that I had to learn, if you look at this little bit of text right here, it says AE, uh, AETR. A is aileron, E is elevator, T is throttle, and R is rudder. If that's not in the right order, what will happen is your throttle might be controlling your yaw and your roll might be controlling your pitch. So you have to play with these four letters. Uh, sometimes it's T-A-E-R, et cetera. But um, it wasn't in the right configuration when I first plugged it in. So I had to actually change it to um, what it is now, which again is A-E-T-R. And that means that my ailerons, rudder, or ailerons, elevator, uh, throttle, and rudder are all correct now. So it's, it's talking to the thing. Um, my radio is controlling these uh, parameters over here. So that's a good start. The next thing you want to do in clean flight is go into your uh, modes. Now, your radio most likely will have some switches on it. And um, one of them is going to be your AUX1 switch, one's going to be your AUX2 switch, AUX3, etc. And I've set up two different parameters. My first parameter is my AUX1 switch, which allows me to actually um, start and stop the motor. If you look right up here at this area here, the green indicates the area where the switch is active, and the gray indicates the area where the switch is inactive. So right now, because I have that little green dot down there, it's saying that my, um, my motors would be turned off, because you see that says um, AUX1 arm. So if you can see the word arm there, that means it's arming the motors. So when I flip this up to either of my other positions, and the green is inside this area, it's going to arm the motors. So the motors will start spinning, and if I want to kill them, I push that down. This one over here that is AUX2, which is the angle parameter, that switches me, um, that switches me into uh, angle mode or, which, which is my AUX2 switch? Oh, it's over here. Uh, angle or horizon mode are the two uh, flight modes for this. So angle is uh, self-leveling, very easy to fly. Horizon is Still self-leveling, but not as much. And I think with Horizon, you can actually do flips, too. Um, there might be an acro mode, too, but uh, I haven't set that up. But for now, I'm going to just fly it in Horizon mode. Um, so you can see as I switch this, the little green, um, this switches between this area, which is angle, and this area, which is Horizon. And that's really it. That's all I did in Clean Flight was uh, configure my aux switches and make sure that my control was set up. So now that I'm bound and my, uh, my quad is configured, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the battery. The battery slots in under here uh, vertically, which is unusual. You don't see that very often. Um, this being such a small quad, you're going to want to make sure that you get it centered so that your, your center of gravity is somewhat in the middle. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, but you don't want to have it like way forward or way backwards or it's going to tilt one way or the other. And then one other thing I've noticed about this quad is the camera actually slides into this little slot up here on the top. Um, I tried to fly it yesterday with nothing holding that down and the camera popped out. So what you're going to want to do is get a rubber band or a zip tie or something and just do this number to hold the camera down. That's not in the instructions, but I think a rubber band is probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, they're cheap. There's lots of them around. And so let me get this guy on there. And that'll do two things. That'll hold your battery from sliding forward and backwards, and that'll hold your camera in place. The camera does have a little, um, does have a little uh, uh, lens cover, which I just took off. 
But what I'm going to do first is um, launch this guy uh, without the FPV goggles and just kind of fly it around in here. And then we'll throw on the FPV goggles and throw it, fly it around the building, around the Ready Set Drone Studios. All right, now one thing to notice. Look how bright those LEDs are. I mean, man, that is some serious, uh, that's some serious brightness, which usually on a quad this size you don't get. So I'm gonna set it down right here, move some of this stuff out of the way. And as I said, if you remember, I set this switch over here to be my arm switch. So I'm gonna throw that up, which arms it. And you can see now, if I throw that down, my throttle doesn't do anything, but if I throw it up, And we lost the prop. Now I'm going to throw the uh, fat sharks on and see if I can uh, fly at FPV for fun times. Okay, I've got a signal right out of the gate. Um, the default channel seems to be the right one. And I um, don't know if you can zoom in on, on that, but uh, you can see a live view of of the room moving the moving the camera around um so so all right but the good thing is the fat sharks have a dvr built in so i'm going to go ahead and uh set the um set it to record and now i'm recording video on my little dvr all right we're still rolling i think so okay we're going to try FPV in this thing through the office. See if it does okay. Can you flip me over? Okay, here I go. All right, that's good. All right, so this little guy, the e Sheen uh, Turbine QX70 Micro FPV Racing Drone. Um, I have to say, it's, it's very cool in the way that it's built. The lighting is awesome on it, and I hit a lot of stuff just now, and it seemed to bounce right off. Uh, the prop came off once or twice, but that was easy to pop back on. Uh, the biggest challenge with it is, I think for its uh, power to weight ratio, it's it's kind of heavy. And so the battery, um, it tended to uh, either go really low or I would give it a lot of throttle and it would go really high. I had a hard time getting it to level out. I finally got it to level out pretty well towards the end of the flight. Um, it just takes a little bit of touch and a little bit of practice. But I'll tell you, for something that is uh, designed for flying around indoors and getting better at FPV, I really like it, especially because of the ducted fans uh, or ducted propellers that aren't gonna bump into things. The video transmission quality is actually really good. It must be a, uh, maybe it's a 200 watt or, or milliwatt uh, transmitter 
because from the other side of the building, I was still getting really clear picture. So overall, I would recommend it as someone who is more of an intermediate flyer or wants to get into flying FPV. Um, it's a great way to practice indoors if you got a little bit of space. A couple of things, be sure um, to set it up in clean flight as I showed you earlier. Also be sure to use a rubber band or something to hold the camera on the top. And then uh, I'm actually gonna try it with a different battery, a little bit smaller battery, same, same uh, specs, but a little bit smaller with the same connector and see if a little less weight makes it less uh, up and down. But overall, really like this little guy. I'll put a link in the description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, and if you really like it, please subscribe. We'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone.